Hey, good morning, everyone. Trackman44 here. Uh, well, you can tell by the vision in front of you that I'm getting ready to travel down the highway with the old Ford truck, the uh, PJ Tandem Gooseneck Dump, and the little Kubota. I think there's a rock and roll song somewhere in there, ain't there? About traveling down the road in your flatbed Ford. At any rate, I'm heading down to my daughter's, and we're going to uh, kind of clean up some of the, clean up some of that brush uh, if we get a little bit lucky. I belong to a lot of tractor forums. And there's a lot of guys who's uh, who's got pet peeves about how people tie tractors down. Uh, and there's the right way and there's the wrong way. I don't know which one is which, but uh, let me tell you what I do. It looks like I've got nothing but nylon straps on the front and on the back of the tractor. But this nylon strap up here is only doing the one thing that uh, DOT insists in this particular state. And that's to have a, a binder, a chain and a binder on each of the four individual wheels and tires and another strap or binder on the implements that are on the trailer with it, be they attached or not. That's as I understand the law. So this thing is really not doing anything at all. Uh, I've got the forks jammed into the back end of the trailer. You know, the tractor can't really go anywhere. But again, that's just to, to take care of that particular requirement. And on the other end, that set of uh, nylon straps you see there, that's nothing more than holding my ballast weights. I've just got wheel weights stacked on some uprights. And if I was to actually get into a collision or something, those will become 80 pound projectiles that could go through my cab, you know, or the car, another car or, or whatever, or heaven forbid, a, a motorcycle or a pedestrian. So those are only on there for my particular, uh, uh, out of my own particular desire. It's not required, I don't believe at all. But uh, you can't see in here, but I've got chains and binders binding everything down to the, the D-rings that are at the four corners of the trailer. But there's another thing too, whenever you use these trailers here, these wall thicknesses aren't that substantial and there's no backing plate on the outside of the D-rings. And if you bind those down anywhere near tight enough to really secure the load to any degree, all you do is just bow the outside of these trailer uh, bodies inward. You know, just stresses them out and just puts big old bend marks inside the trailer. So I don't know that they're really substantial enough to do a great job of holding. So I put them on, I just kind of snug them a little bit and don't try not to bend up my the sides of my trailer. I tell you, the more I use this PJ trailer, the more I like it. Got little circlips here, you got a little trap door. A super sturdy set of three inch channel iron ramps. I really like these guys. If you look down across here, that is not the lake that uh, my daughter lives on. This is nothing more than a catch basin right here. The first one on the right is a catch basin. Uh, all the sediment and everything washing down the hill settles into that and then drains into his actual pond here. And that's a private lake or a private fishing lake or for that particular fella back there that actually owns a construction company here in town. But that's a private re residence not associated with this lake.
are guys loaded up and trucking. Hey, ain't that another rock and roll song? Might be a country western song. But at any rate, um, I got three of the straps across it holding all the debris in. So um, hopefully we'll be able to make it a few miles back home and not get caught or anything. But I, I think everything is pretty secure. So um, next up, we'll be backing in and dumping this up here so I can push it off the hill at my place. Tell you what, I really like this PJ trailer. I can't remember what angle they said this goes to. I think they said 41 degrees. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to pull out from under now and deposit this load right here. <laughs> 